Namaste, beautiful watery Pisces. I hope you're well. And that September has treated you well so far. Thank you for your patience. There has been a lot going on this month. I just got back from Singapore. And this is the divine flow of this reading this month. So thank you for your patience, your love, your support, and your loyalty. I know there's been a lot going on for many people with um, the uh, solar eclipse. And then we have now... Um, Mercury going retrograde in the sign of Libra, but that is balance and love and harmony and creation and creativity and anything under the sun and sky of Venus. And then we have um, some planets going direct. And we have Venus going direct this month, the 7th. That's what that happened. And then we have a, a Saturn changing signs back into Sagittarius. So there's a lot of expansion. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of movement happening, there's some flow happening for you right now, I feel, as well. I feel like you've had a few months of healing, and I know that uh, Neptune, your home, home planet, it's been retrograde, and it's going to be retrograde till November, but it's not actually a bad thing because it's making you look at the truth of a situation that has made, have put you back or made you feel stuck in some department of your life. And you're really having to take action in that area. And we all are. And especially it's a very spiritual grounded nature. But it's about looking at your life in a very realistic way. Which is sometimes hard for you. I know myself I have lots of Neptune in my chart. So I do understand. But you know we aren't disillusioned. We are spirit. Neptune is all about spirit. And the world some doesn't, sometimes just doesn't understand us in that way. So I want to give you that love and that light for you on that department. And again, we have all this illumination happening and all these videos that I'm making right now. So not everyone got the illuminant video because this is the energy channeled light coming through right now. And I'm talking about the lighting right here. Um, this is very rare that has come through. So I have three special beings, three special signs, we are all special, that are going to get this very illuminant reading that is happening at this divine timing. And I'm somehow grateful, I am grateful for waiting to do your reading till this time because this is the time to do it. And that's how I see, you know, if we don't have patience and don't trust, that's not going to bring the illuminant timing. We need to have the illuminate timing within us and not force something to happen. I feel like you're perfect for that and you're perfectly showing the world that we need to go with that flow and we need to be that spirit and we need to be that soul. We don't need to be that human all the time and be like, where are you? Where are you? You know, and I feel with Pisces, especially you beautiful Pisces, you need your flow. If people are putting pressure on you and telling you to be there and be this and do that, you're going to be like, you're going to swim away and go hide in your cave because you're so sensitive. Because you're feeling everyone's stuff. And we all are because we're planetarily shifting or uplifting this vibration, this frequency, and we're all doing that. And the whole planet is doing that. So it's intense, but it's beautiful at the same time. And I feel like you are showing that to the world and illuminating that for the world. So don't be shy. Share it with the world and embrace yourself on all levels, especially your beautiful vulnerability. We need more of that in this world. We do. And you have compassion and oneness and beauty and love and truth. So I feel like People could be seeing you in a more realistic way that maybe they had a hard time seeing before. Not realistic, but there's a brighter picture in terms of like, oh, now I get, now I get what you are. But then when your planet goes directing, and I feel like there's going to be an illuminant shift in spirit for everyone to fully see that spirit and energy is everything. And that is your message for the world. And I feel like you're going to feel on top of the world, especially starting right now because there's so much planetarily shift with that energy. And when we have a planet retrograde, it's about looking at it in a deeper aspect and taking the time to look at those details. And I feel like the whole planet is doing that right now. Is might, They might see you in a more realistic point of view, and you might be seeing things in a more realistic point of view, but when it comes down to it, they're going to understand the deeper details of what that means to have that energy in Neptune what that means to be spirit, what that means to be light and energy and oneness and love and union. You have all of that. I always thought Jesus was 
a Pisces. I still do. I don't adapt to any certain religion. I pull from here and there and it's exactly what Pisces is. I know with having lots of Neptune in my chart, we are all about putting all those things together and making them whole and oneness for everyone in the whole world to understand that with truth, love, compassion, and oneness. And that is why we're here at this time. That is why you are he- why you are here at this time. That is why everyone is here at this time, this moment being authentically ourselves and unique and divine. We are all fishes in the sea, but we're all unique and divine, but we are all connected. But you and I are the same, but we are also different. So that's a beautiful introduction for Pisces. All right, let's get into your reading. I could swim around in the sea with you forever because I love you. All right, Pisces. So if you have a Pisces moon, this applies to you. If you have a Pisces sun, a Pisces rising, a Pisces extended, anything in Pisces, anything in Neptune that is really in your chart. If you have Pisces in the 8th house, I have Pisces in the 8th house. Words up, heads up. Pisces in the 8th house means Pisces is the house, that the soul. You are the soul. That is your soul calling. So look at your 8th house Pisces or anyone that has some kind of Pisces energy. Look what your 8th house is because that is the house and the seat of the soul. Very, very important. It is ruled by Scorpio, which is now changing signs out of the energy of Saturn. So really important time, stepping back into your soul, stepping back into your alignment, into your light, into the limelight of who you are in a positive beautiful way. I'm sending you a lot of light on that. Let's get into your reading. All right. And if you do not know how to look at your eighth house, you go um, to a website and look up your natal chart, your birth chart. And if you know the time of your birth, you put in the time of the birth and the rising will depict your eighth house. So if you'd like a personal reading with me, my website is below and that is exactly what I'll look at for you and any of the departments you're working on currently. All right, let's get flowing with this energy, Pisces, because we're flowing everywhere at the moment. All right, beginning of the month of September 2015 for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Neptune, the mermaids, the fish, the infinity, love, union, oneness. That's how I like to see you guys and girls and ladies and goddesses and gods. All right, beautiful Pisces for... September 2015, the beginning of the month for Pisces, September. What is going to flow for them this month and what do they need to look at? Okay, this card popped up. Woo! That says it all, Pisces. Look at that. All right, it's success, the ace of world. So you're going to be feeling abundant, prosperous, flowing with all the energies because we have all the worlds synchronizing, the energies, the planets, the everything is oneness, everything is wholeness. It is the ace of world. It's like you have the world in your hand. My friend actually had a dream that I gave her an orange with a hand. So I'm handing you an orange ball of lights right now. That's my message through this. There's an orange ball of light right there. The sun, we have Saturn, we have Venus, we have the moon. You, you know, that's your tarot card. You have the moon, your Neptune. Um, Everything is just kind of coming together for you and aligning for you, especially with the energy of Virgo, because that is the opposite sign of you. And you're becoming more aligned within yourself. And there's this orange, beautiful light The sun is popping up there, the moon, Saturn. You have everything, Neptune, Pluto, the world. You have everything you need, and it's aligning, and it's successful. So that means success, money, abundance. It's a new beginning for you. Things are synchronizing. You're feeling better about your life. Worldly treasures, being here on earth, seeing in the right way and the right light. It is all synchronizing for you and you are synchronizing the world for yourself. So you have the world to manifest everything and you have success on your side. That's in spirituality, that's in healing, that's in love. It's starting to realign for you. That's really beautiful. So take note of that energy, okay? And go forward with that success. Success in earthly pleasures and treasures. Very nice. 
That's all I have to say for that. All right. So let's get on to the middle of the month. It has to do definitely with the solar eclipse that's happening and the new moon and Venus going direct. And you also had that full moon in your sign at the end of, sorry, August. I feel like something culminated for you then. Something is coming together and there's a new beginning for you. That's really beautiful. Also emotionally, um, just it's this is an unconditional twin flame month. So if you met her or him, it's a good sign. If you met them before this month, then that's really good. So trust the energy. You could have met them around March and now it's culminating together, but you just had to tie some loose ends up in August and that's okay. Okay, so the middle of the month for Pisces, September 2015. Very successful, very loving, very nurturing. Alignment, aligning. All right, what is going to flow for beautiful Pisces this month, the middle of September 2015? Beautiful Pisces, divine light one. Divine love, divine waters, holy waters. Okay. So definitely work on what you want in your life and you will have success. Let anything go that's not serving you anymore. You need to feel successful, abundant, and flowing, and flowing, and flowing, and rolling, and moving along your path. That is exactly your path. So. And the reason I shuffle for a few more minutes sometimes people ask that is because I flow with the divine channeled energy when they tell me to stop or something pops up that's what I will show you that's for all the readings okay okay oh do I need to say more you know it's really funny when I look at this card it's the lovers by the way I see this person is really whole and if I look at it, it's like a mirror image of them. I've never looked at the card that way before until I looked at myself with the card. This woman is like larger than this man. Does that make sense to anyone? There's a new moon right here. It's like the dark side and the light side. It's a mirroring object. I've never seen that till right now. Wow. I love you, Pisces. That's exactly what has happened. You know I do. All right. So, yes, it's a mirrored person. You're going to be with your true love, um, with your twin flame, uh, putting both sides of yourself together, light and the dark, and the passion and everything, like the opposite of passion. Everything's coming and merging together for you. And it's beautiful. It is such a beautiful energy. The roses and the gardens and the, there's a white lotus right here. I was reading about another white lotus in another reading before. Um, that's beautiful. It was actually for Capricorn. Um, you're merging with another, with another soul and is your soul. You are their soul and they are your soul. And it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. This energy is just like illuminant. And it's your mirror. As I said, that's the first thing I saw. Look at that. I've never seen that perspective before. Because when I look at the card, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like there's this balance. And yes, there is. But um, I know if you're a Pisces, you are a sensitive and very delicately featured person. So you could be with a person that's a little larger or taller or... Um, more full and whole but they make you full and whole and you make them full and whole so there's this divine union that's coming together for you this month and it's so beautiful and it's like the darker aspect feels more heavier so maybe you were looking at heavier aspects and if I look at the picture all the way in there there are two beings right here if you look at this there's one right there and another coming to them and there's the new moon so yeah the new moon is bringing love to you um, especially with that full moon. It's looking at all sides and aspects. And in the middle on the top, we have a rainbow. 
See that? There's two rainbows, and they are luminantly aligning two beings. And this two, these two beings are becoming one. And there is an energy of two that makes one. And there again, we have two trees. And when I was in Singapore, actually, I saw 1111 everywhere. And this happened before for myself too. 1111 was everywhere and eights were everywhere. So this is definitely a message of divine union and synchronicity and harmony and finding those treasures. Again, mirrored objects. I have not seen this before. This is amazing. Sorry, just like I had to say this. There are so many mirrored objects in this image. I have had this deck since 2009. And I stopped using it for a while. And I've never seen these images until now. So yes, Pisces, um, divine union and love for both of us, I have to say right here. There's mirrored objects in this, in this card everywhere. Until now, until I've looked at myself video-wise, I have not seen this till now. And you are the one to experience this with me. And this is exactly why I'm so exuberant to share that with you. And it was a moment in time that I was present with you and you were present with me. And this is about love, union, wholeness, and fullness coming and merging together. That is so beautiful. This is definitely twin flame energy for you. You are the two fishes too. And there'll be another partner that might have two symbols, could be a Gemini, but the two fishes are merging. That's Oh, and there's a waterfall right here. Oh my goodness. I could tell you so many stories about this card right now. Um, overflowing joy, love, bliss, and energy, and waterfalls. I have, I have followed waterfalls my whole life. And yes, I have a lot of Pisces energy too. I didn't expect to read like this, but um, thank you for being in this present moment with me and allowing me to flow that energy to you. And I wish you nothing but love and joy and happiness and fulfillment and pleasure and success success overflowing joy and success because it's here now for you and i feel like you're going to feel that and your partner is here and you're whole and full of who you are so move forward with your divine path don't let don't say no to it anymore say yes say I'm ready, universe. I'm ready. I'm yes. Ecstatic, bliss, orgasmic. Yes, I am ready. You are ready. You are so ready. You're ready for that divine partnership. If you are in a partnership or have been in a partnership and it's not flowing for you, I urge you to walk to the light where you're meant to be. Okay? I'm not telling you what to do because you're going to do what you want to do. You're Pisces. But you're the divine mirror of a divine connection who's out there, who is waiting for you possibly. And you know who they are. That's all I need to say. And yeah, they could, they are both sides of you. They're darkness and they're your light and they're your love. They're your mirrored object. They're your tree. They're your 1111, you know, and you're their 1111. You are the mirror object of each other, and you can see it in your eyes. You don't need to see anything else. If you look in their eyes, and you can see that, you can see this illumination, and you can see that in the present moment, because I feel like Pisces is about being in the present flowing moment, and that is what you're here to teach us. If you can see it in their eyes, you can see yourself in their eyes, and they can see themselves in your eyes, it's there. You don't need anything else. You feel it from spirit. And then you feel it later on in other objects and other things. And objects will come to you and show them to you, show themselves to you, messages, people, emotions, feelings, dreams. It's beyond time and space. And you know that. You so know that. All right, so let's get on to the end of September 2015 before I go completely into Neptune. <laughs> All right, that's so beautiful. All right, so Pisces, September, end of month, September 2015. I mean, this, I have, that was pretty much the end of your reading, I feel, right there. But we're going to flow one more card for you because that's what is meant to be on a physical plane. So, Pisces for September 2015. 
end of September for Pisces. This is beautiful energy for you, Pisces. I trust you are well and you're flowing with your path and flowing on your path exactly where you need to be at at this time right now. And I think you're about the longest reading this month, but that's okay. That's good. All right. This is the card that wants to come up. Okay. It's about creativity. I'm going to pull one more card and learning because the top and the bottom wanted to say something. You're learning through creativity, something you have to let go of through crystals. Um, it's about letting go of something. It could be a third person that was involved in the past. Um, it's about getting clear on your path and allowing to build your tower up and seeing the bigger picture. And again, it's about that oneness, that oneness and wholeness and fullness and becoming that divine crystal, that person that's going to be on your journey, <clears throat> with your journey, already with your journey. Allow them to be with your journey. It's finding the details and the crystals and the jewels within that energy. It's being creative. It's being really creative and putting all your crystals into one intention. That's what I'm feeling. And this is the learner. So, so to say your child, your inner child that was scared before is now moving to the light. And you're not alone on this. You're seeing the world with child, child's eyes. So allow that to happen. Okay. I don't feel this is going to affect this relationship when it comes to this shakeup. I feel like it just something has to shake up to break something up that was meant to shake up and go away and transform itself. So it could have to be it's earth changes to there. I'm feeling um, the full moon lunar eclipse on the 28th is going to bring up something like that. And it's definitely going to bring a shift within something earthly for you and it's going to shift in the right direction you feel like you're going to see the bigger picture with the crystals and the picture will be more clear and then once that has so to say renewed and revitalized then you can grow this beautiful tower with your beloved and it seems like this tower is actually shifting to the heavens so that is exactly what you're working on you could be working with crystals inventions and yeah, you see that, again, there's that crystal right there. See that? Look at that. This is actually water, watermelon tourmaline. This is watermelon tourmaline. So I want you to get yourself some watermelon tourmaline or have a look at watermelon tourmaline. There's lots of layers of details. And I feel like this has to do with details and some of the details from the way past are now being seen. And you're like, oh, wow, now I see the bigger picture. Now I see it. It's about that one union, definitely. But you're going to learn a lot from this union and it's going to be clarity, crystal clarity and seeing the world like a child again. And again, it's like that darkness and that lightness and merging the two together. It's about merging. You're merging the two together. Um, you're healing, you're inventing, you're seeing you're seeing things beyond your mind beyond your eyes beyond your eyes yes exactly it's like i have the world in my hand again like the success you, you're successful you have the world in your hand and the and the light and the eyes of a child so go with that energy because you will be well the world is in your hands and you're seeing the world in life again like a child. And that's exactly what this is all about, especially at the end of the month. Okay, so if you have children, allow them to see the way the world is in a spiritual form. And they will understand what you need to do. Okay? I love you very much, beautiful Pisces. I'm another Pisces being. And I send you love and light from Ubad Bali. Flow with your love. Flow with your light. Flow with your love and merge together in light. If you would like a personal reading, 
with me. My website is below and I would love to help you and flow with your light and your love on your divine path. Namaste. Unconditional love your way in a twin flame vibration for you. You are the beautiful divine beloved one. Namaste.